Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about implicit differentiation. And for each problem, we're going to use implicit differentiation to find dy dx in terms of x and y. So, if I was given this problem, 2x to the third equals 2y squared plus 5. Well, if I want to do this, what I do is, on the left-hand side here, I treat 2x to the third just like I know it would. I would kind of ignore this and say, okay, power rule. As 6x squared. But on the right hand side, I'm going to do the same thing with y for the beginning part. But it's kind of like, think about a chain rule here. 2 times 2, all right, power goes down, 2 times 2 is 4. y, we subtract the x one by y, so y first power. But now we want to multiply by the derivative of the inside part, that y. It's kind of like where the chain rule kind of is similar there. The derivative of y is dy dx, right? y is a function, so or deriving that with respect to x, and so it's some new function, the derivative. Now, the plus 5 is pretty simple. It's a constant. It's eliminated. It's just 0, right? You don't need to write that plus 0. So now I'm pretty much done with the calculus. I just need to get dy dx by itself. So to do that, I'm going to first uh, divide by 4y to both sides. So we kind of divide by 4y here. And then I'm going to put dy dx on the left-hand side. I like that. And then so I have now 6x squared over 4 y. Now we can easily simplify that up and right up here. Simplify that. Uh, 6 over 4 is really 3 over 2. So we have dy dx here is equal to 3x squared over 2y. And there we have, my mark to hold up, our final answer. So let's recap. We're given 2x to the third power equals 2y squared plus 5. Well, I want to use implicit differentiation, so I derive the left just like normally. I would just on normal x, and I had 6x squared. On the right-hand side, I treat y just like I would an x. 2 comes down times 4, subtract the x divided by 1. But then I have to multiply that by dy dx. We're kind of doing the derivative of y now. We're kind of thinking of like a chain rule, like y is some function, which it is. Then, plus derivative of 5 is 0. After that, all I did was get dy dx by itself. I divide the 4 by both sides, and I simplified to get the final answer again of dy dx is equal to 3x squared over 